English lesson, we're going to discuss something that's been on everyone's mind lately, and that is the COVID pandemic. A pandemic is the spread of a disease throughout the world. So today, we're going to review some vocabulary words related to the virus, so it will be easier for you to understand any news reports that are coming out, and also easier to talk about the pandemic if you should ever need to. You will hear often that this version of the coronavirus is novel, meaning that it has not been seen before. Coronaviruses have been around for hundreds of centuries or for hundreds of years. This novel version of the coronavirus is named COVID-19 because it's a coronavirus disease that first appeared in the year 2019. Because this is a novel coronavirus, no one has immunity to it. Immunity means that you will not get sick from the disease because either you've had the vaccine or you have already had the illness and cannot get it again. Unfortunately, no one is immune to COVID-19. Because of this, governments are taking extreme measures to decrease transmission or to decrease the spread of the disease from person to person. This novel coronavirus is very easy to transmit or to spread from person to person. So many countries have ordered their citizens to stay at home. A stay at home order means that your government officials encourage you to stay at home and to only go out for essential duties, um, like buying food. Essential means something you cannot survive without doing. You can't survive without food, therefore food is essential. Essential workers are those people who provide essential survival services like health care, grocery and food services, power, water, and government officials. All non-essential workers are encouraged not to work or to stay at home to work. Stay at home orders and lockdowns are very similar in their goal. They want to keep people in isolation or they want to keep people alone and away from one another in order to slow the transmission of the disease. A lockdown is usually more severe than a stay-at-home order though. It means that you can't go out without a pass or without an official approval letter. And if you go out without approval, it means you can also be arrested or you may have to pay a fine. A fine means that you have to pay money as punishment for breaking the rules. A stay-at-home order is less severe because usually there's no punishment involved if you break the stay-at-home order. What about you though? Does your country have a stay-at-home order or a lockdown in place? Share your experience in the comments below. I'm curious to know how you're doing and curious to hear about your experience during this pandemic. Many countries also have curfews. A curfew means that you cannot go outside of your home after a certain time. Some countries have curfews at 8 p.m. in the evening, and some countries have curfews at 10 p.m. at night. What about you? Does your country have a curfew in place? A quarantine is even more severe than a stay-at-home order and a lockdown because in these cases when you're quarantined, you can't even leave your home for essential duties. In quarantine, you must rely on someone else to deliver your food and handle your essential services for you. Quarantines are more and more common for international travelers. 
whenever they arrive into a country, they must quarantine themselves for 14 days, even if they are not sick. These quarantines are done as just a precaution so that if travelers become infected with the virus during their travels, they do not expose the community to the virus. Quarantining travelers is just a precaution, but quarantining people who have tested positive for the virus is essential. When someone tests positive, it means that they have that illness. Infected people should be quarantined until they test negative for the virus, meaning that they no longer have the virus any longer. What's tricky about COVID-19 is that some people are infected with the virus, but they are asymptomatic, meaning that they are without symptoms. They show no signs of the illness whatsoever. Some common symptoms are signs of COVID-19 include a cough, <coughs> shortness of breath or trouble breathing, like that, a fever where your body temperature goes over 99.5 degrees Fahrenheit or 37.5 degrees Celsius, body aches where you have pain in your torso, and fatigue where you feel so tired that it's hard for you to get out of bed. A big problem is that people can spread the virus without having any symptoms, without having any signs of illness. They will feel normal, but they are still transmitting a dangerous virus to other people without knowing it. This is why social distancing is so important. Social distancing means that you try to keep one meter or three feet away from other people whenever you leave your home. Keeping a safe distance is one way to avoid transmitting the disease. However, because social distancing is so difficult in large cities, stay-at-home orders and lockdown restrictions are also sometimes necessary to decrease the spread of the disease as well. Everyone's goal with these restrictions or these rules that limit what you can do is to decrease the numbers of new cases and to decrease the numbers of deaths in their nations. This pandemic has certainly caused an unprecedented amount of new restrictions unprecedented, meaning that this has never happened before, at least not in our lifetime. The amount of travel restrictions and lockdowns are unprecedented. I know that I've never seen anything like this before in my lifetime. Have you experienced another pandemic in the past? Again, share your experience in the comments below. I'm curious to hear about it and it will be good practice for your English as well. Well, that's everything for this English lesson. Please give the video a thumbs up if you learned something. It really helps me see if these lessons are helpful, and it also helps other students find these lessons on YouTube as well. In addition, please remember to hit that red subscribe button so you can get more useful English lessons like this every week. Lastly, Please check out FluencyKing.com for our full English course. We have both a free promotional course and our full paid course. You can check that out at the links in the description box below. Hope you are safe, healthy, and as always, happy practicing. Until next time, bye!